Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Yes, the weeklies are back, and I am so happy to be able to bring these back to you. This is for the week of April 24th through the 30th. Uh, so let's tap into the energy for the week ahead. Seven of Swords, Four of Wands, the Hanged Man, followed by the Fool. Let's see what are your last two. Eight of Swords and, and, because you've got the Seven and the Eight here and the Knight of Cups. Interesting. The Hanged Man and the Fool are your major arcana. So that is what your main energy is for the week ahead, right? This is contemplating new starts, new beginnings, but with the Eight of Swords, you know, following after, because you start off with the Seven of Swords, Four of Wands, makes me feel like you want to kind of just walk away from a connection, a relationship. Um, walking away from some sort of family unit, um, actual family or, you know, your place, your apartment, your home, a relationship, whatever it may be. Seven of Swords. It can also be the lying, cheating, betrayal energy as well. It can also mean not taking responsibility or accountability for actions around you or for your actions. Could be the other way around, Leo. This is a general reading. There could be someone that you live with, that you're in partnership with, um, you know, family member romantic partner or this could be in your work environment where someone isn't taking responsibility for their actions there's no accountability and you're just at that point of fed the fuck up right I mean sorry for my language let's see oops I hope I don't get deemed anyway <laughs> you're just kind of like at the you know tired af and fed up of having to deal with this type of behavior, whether this has been um, repetitive behavior by this person or this has just been kind of like what's been in your track record when it comes to relationships or friendships. When you feel like just when I found someone that I can live and share my life with, um, they show their true colors. And so I feel like there is this uh, feeling like your life is hanging in the balance while you try to figure out how to stop this repetitive cycle. We are in Mercury retrograde at this time. And so some of you may be uh, having to face the fact that for so long, you may have felt like your life was going nowhere. You may have felt like you're repeating the same cycles, not sure if this is going to help you moving forward or not, right? Uh, closing out specific chapters. I feel like there is this energy where you really have to do the inner work, the healing work, and try to figure out what the next step is. What part do you need to let go of? What have you allowed that continues to bring this type of people or behavior around you? And the fool is not giving a crap anymore, right? The fool is like, F it. I'm taking a leap of faith. I'm creating the life that I want for myself. If people get mad at me, if people get hurt because I decide to choose me, you know, then, okay, that's their prerogative. That's their problem. But me, I'm a do me, right? I'm going to choose me and I'm going to continue to move forward regardless of what people say, because I feel like you have people that want to keep you in this stuck energy, that want to keep you in this eight of swords energy where they have you feeling and thinking it's like this repetitive loop in your mind of I'm not worthy I'm not deserving maybe they're right I can't do anything I don't know how to um I, I, I don't know how to do things I'm worthless you know it's a very very negative self-talk and I feel like this didn't come from you these are not your original thoughts this is the pain and the trauma from uh, unsupportive relationships for some of you it could have stemmed from your upbringing where people people around you at a very young age made you feel this way and no this doesn't necessarily mean your parents although for some it could be but who do we look up to when we're children adults this could have been any adult that perhaps was around you at a young age at a vulnerable age that everyone looked up to confided in and they may have been like goals at one point that everyone just absolutely looked up to they had their life together they owned their own home cars they had their business they were good financially but maybe they were a terrible human being when it came to children uh this is feeling like someone may have um 
robbed you of your innocence when it comes to your own worth, right? And making you feel like you lost a sense of self stemming from a young age. This could have been through trauma, through abuse. This could have been just from people making you feel like, what do you know? You're just a kid, right? We got to, we as adults have a responsibility to stop uh, allowing other adults to make children feel that way. So if you've seen that type of behavior, you got to you got to do what you can to make sure that that child doesn't jump off the deep end because they're being told this repetitively because what happens is they become adults who are still hearing that same repetitive voice in their head and their inner child is going to feel like very like they've been carrying these unhealed wounds for so long and so some of you may be experiencing this at this time and that's where your eight of swords energy is surrounding you at this time is that you haven't let go of um inner child wounds repetitive cycles that stem from mm, being let down disappointed by adults right Knight of Cups here does invite the energy of love, does bring in opportunities for love, love of self, love of life, of true, uh, I, I heard characteristics in people. So, you know, it's no longer the, I hope they like what they see, what they see in the mirror. Um, I get this feeling that you may have dealt with people who are very, uh, beautiful on the outside, but have horrible personalities on the inside. So some of you um, may have experienced that growing up and perhaps that's what you thought it was meant to be, to be a beautiful person because you get away with ugly behavior. But that only gets you so far. I, I you know, if you're going through that right now where you're trying to break out of bad habits, shitty behavior, or just people's shitty attitudes. And yes, even if that means self-reflection at this time, where or when have you been that way? I feel like some of you may have experienced bullying growing up as well. And usually what happens with bullies is they become the bully or they've been bullied. Um, they have a bully within the household. They go to the next area of their life and bully them, right? We see that in children where they're being bullied at home. They go to school. They bully kids there because it's their outlet. And, and so some of you really, if you experience that, there is a need to work through that. But the Knight of Cups is like, you know, giving love to your inner child, taking forward action and movement towards love give me another for the knight of cups the emperor yeah this is you know taking back control of your life making the appropriate movements here moving forward so another uh another major arcana here so you have the hanged man the fool and the emperor uh, so this is you know also making the appropriate investments within self loving i heard love thyself so that could be something that's been coming to your mind i i, I heard some of you may have woken up from a dream and you you remember that part of your dream okay so the emperor you know this is uh, making the appropriate moves to take back control of your life and that can start from healing the inner child um, healing yourself um, healing childhood leo and what they suffered from and you know helping child leo right to be able to grow from it and become a better human being growing up. Um, I'm not saying you're a horrible human being, right? I'm not saying that at all. I just, I feel like you're carrying too many wounds, too many scars, and they're all on the inside. And so some of you may even be almost obsessed with making sure your hair, your clothes, your makeup, it, everything is just perfect. It becomes almost a little bit OCD. Um, because there is this need to have full control, but I, it does not stop the repetitiveness that goes on in your mind. So be mindful of that. You do need to show yourself some love, some grace, some forgiveness 
if things like this happened to you in childhood, you know, the adult obviously had the upper hand here. But now as an adult, you've got the upper hand and you are responsible for your own healing and how to move forward after that. So what is your outcome? King of Cups, beautiful. Eight of Cups, walking away from, you know, that inner emotional turmoil, the person that hurt you, the experiences that may have brought a sense of trauma. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Two of Wands. Again, what I literally just said, you have a choice now as an adult. You have a choice, a responsibility to do your own healing, to make pivotal changes in your life, especially when you decide that the pain and the traumas from your past, they don't have a future with you. They don't belong with you in the present or in the future. You're letting it go, walking away and finding yourself from within wholeheartedly on an emotional level and having this need to find growth and balance overall moving forward it's it's you know whose reading did i just do was it scorpios or aries i feel one of them if you have that in your chart check it out also had um a lot of the turmoil and experiences from childhood that they wish they can um make it disappear and wish they would have never experienced it but uh, I, unfortunately, that really does become pivotal, pivotal, pivotal to who we become. The card of seahorse. So this is highlighting uh, family matters and the card of boat, money, property through an inheritance, winning or windfall, and dog far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. So there could be uh, family matters that you really just want to walk away from. I did have that energy in the beginning, wanting to walk away from a home, a family situation, wanting to uh, just kind of leave it all behind, right? And And trying to figure out how to move forward. So for some of you, if you did suffer a loss where um, you are inheriting a family home and there could be this sense of fighting, you know, probate, things of that nature, I do feel like you're trying to figure out how to um, make everyone happy but hold on to what's yours at the same time. So make sure that you honor yourself first, Leo. Um, you do have Dog Far Away, a distant friend is thinking of you. Let me have a card for that. Um, why are they thinking of you at this time? This could be surrounding the fact that you did lose someone within a family. So the card of flowers, they, they may be sending you flowers. They may have sent flowers to, um, you know, a funeral um, dedication of some sort. Um, but also this feeling where I feel that they may send you flowers to cheer you up at this time. And they want you to be happy. They want you to find your own happiness. You also have the card of whale. Great worry over nothing. The card of flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Remember what I said about fighting people that you don't need to. And vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. I do feel like some of you are experiencing that type of um, depression, anxiety, worry, it's creating problems that are not actually there. They're temporary problems. They're not here for the long term. Um, I do feel that some of you are a bit in your head about that situation. The card of heart, uh, love, deep affection, and caring. And it could be someone that, remember what I said, they everybody looked up to at one point or another. They had it all. And, and, and it's almost as though you know who they truly were uh, if they were an ugly human being. And they got away with a lot of things in the past. So some of you, I just got this feeling, oh, I got the chills. Some of you, if you lost someone in your life that everyone looked up to, but you may have suffered abuse at their hands, um, you, you almost want to say, you don't know what they did to me. They're not as great of a human being as everyone makes them out to be. Be careful of that energy because you will be, um, you're going to be shunned. You're going to be, you know, 
be ready for that if that's what you feel you need to do, right? Um, where you're going to be seen as the crazy person wanting attention. No one's going to believe you, but I feel that there will be some others that will believe you or that will say, I had a feeling that that had been. And I feel like the people you want for them to believe maybe don't, and it really hurts you at this time. So be careful of that. Um, I feel like there was abuse here from someone. Um, and so if you felt that you dealt with it and then this person passed, Mercury retrograde is definitely kicking it back up in your face and you're in this energy of needing to deal with it, okay? I, I do feel like some of you may have left a family home like as soon as you turned 18 and wanting to, to leave and run away from it and not wanting to be a part of it because no one really know, knew what you were suffering or what you were going through. And maybe they saw you as like, oh, you're, you know... The, the horrible son or daughter that doesn't appreciate their family after everything they've done. And it's, it's, it's giving uh gaslighting vibes. It's giving traumatic experiences growing up vibes. And yeah, it's time for you to honor yourself. And I feel like you've done the work to a certain extent, but this can bring up old wounds that really just need the final healing at the end of it all. Okay, Leo, that's your weekly reading. I cannot wait to see what's next for you in the month of May. That reading is coming up next and I will have it in your playlist here and whatever other reading I have for you here as um, your weeklies will continue. Have a great rest of your week and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.